So, take a look what I acquired here. It's like a 1965, what is this? Low liner trailer. Now, that may not look too impressive to you, right? But not only is it vintage and in very good condition for being from the 60s, right? But, this bad boy, I mean, look, it's got all the bells and whistles for the time. I mean, it's got the levers, windows, right? So these things are fucking cute, personally. Now, am I going to be living in this? No, I'm not. I'm going to keep this in my friend's um, front yard, well, on his property, so that when I come to visit my girlfriend and uh, him, I don't have to keep throwing money at a hotel, and he doesn't have to put me up, and I have my privacy. So check this out. Pretty cool little table here, right? Plenty of storage room. Well, I don't know about plenty, but you know what I'm saying? It's pretty fucking cool. It's all 1960s. It's fucking awesome. Right? Little fridge. Oven, even. Look at that shit. Stove. Not that I need a lot of this shit. I'm not, like, again... So I'm not going to be living in here, right? So it's not uh, something that I'm going to be using that often, but if at all, personally, I don't want like, propane hooked up to this trailer. It's the number one way trailers fucking go is the kitchen fire. It's got dual bunk beds, right? There's a top one, which folds up. There's a bottom one, which is a little wider. And, you know, they all fold up and shit. So it's like this one folds into a couch. Closet space. Got a little porta body. As you can see, it hasn't been used. So probably fucking who knows. But I think this is just as cool as shit. I mean, this will actually sleep two people. I mean, you better be friendly, but it'll sleep two people. One person, no problem. So uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I mean, again, I'm not going to be living in it, so it's like, you know, to have my friend's uh, property so I can come in uh, up to Seattle, visit my girlfriend, not to throw a bunch of money at hotels like I've been doing um, until I get my own place. If I get my own place up here, I don't know. But uh, either way, I'm happy with it. It's kind of exciting. Now, not everybody likes camping, right? I do. This this type of living doesn't bother me, you know, if it's short term, right? I mean, I could do this for a couple weeks and be okay with it. No problem. But, uh, yeah. Of course, it has electricity water so you know pretty much power everything right here the only thing it doesn't have is ac but uh this is seattle so you're looking at you know a month of hot weather you know that's it you're looking at about three months of cold but cold is kind of like you know i don't know 40s that's not bad that's a cold cold right so it's still you know i don't know i'm not a pussy i don't mind it you know it's not that big of a deal but uh, always put a little space heater in here. Or, um, you can put a little tiny baby AC in here, swamp cooler type thing. I'm not even going to bother, though. It's, it's pretty much mild mild enough out here where nothing gets too extreme. So, yep, but that's it. It's, uh, that's it. I like the bunk beds. It's kind of a nice touch. Yeah. Yep. 1965 Lowliner. Vintage trailer.